आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग साउंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ यू डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मेटाफोन सो मेटाफोन केम इन टू एक्सिस्टेंस आफ्टर साउंड साउंड अर्लीस्ट एलगोरिजम यूज फॉर फोनेटिक बेस फजी मैचिंग now uh, if you remember from soundex if you haven't seen that video i would suggest to go and just view it once so in case of soundex what we were doing is that we were generating a code of four digits for every string that is possible depending upon the first letter and the uh, following three sounds now in, uh, now this was giving us a lot of restrictions because in terms of longer strings coming in when we are merging out uh, similar names with different surnames this was creating some problems so in case of metaphone what we have we have a big big advantage that is coming and that is uh, it consider the entire string and depending upon the different sounds coming in the entire string it generates the code for us uh, so it uh, it is comparative it can be comparatively uh, more helpful uh, more accurate so let's see uh, how it can be used so minus spelling mistakes again it can help us in countering out so in, again if we take the same example m e h l m a h u l you can see the code generated is m h l m h l that is same as in case of uh, metaphone there is no restriction of the length of the code that is getting generated so in case of soundex we have a uh, restriction that the code can be just four uh, character long but in case of metaphone it can be as long as possible now this can have its disadvantages as well let's uh, we will see that now in case of uh, see uh, in the early example where soundex was failing out gaurav deshmukh gaurav devedin gaurav dravid in case of, you can see that the initial string the initial code that is getting generated by uh, metaphone is the is pretty similar in all the three strings but the later half of the string is uh, a bit uh, a bit different what we wish to have so it does indicate that uh, it is trying to gap up the distance between the two strings and again it can be used by uh, levenstein we can uh, apply levenstein distance or it can help us to shorten out our fuzzy matching pool so if we have to uh, if we wish to do a fuzzy match between one lakh entries it can cut short it to 1000 10000 uh, or a very very small pool now a big big disadvantage that comes with uh, metaphone that was not in soundex is that it is not able to handle gibberish tales so if you remember in case of uh, soundex uh, when a person in excitement writes buzz uh, multiple z's coming in multiple l's coming in at the end of the line, that's a pretty common slang now times uh, it might not be able to handle that and if you see uh, in a, in this example uh, because of repeated l's coming in the pattern has changed a lot so similarly uh if the names are incomplete so at times in a library you are writing gaurav gupta and the next time you are writing just gaurav so uh, there would be some issues with the fuzzy match also because uh, the code generated because it won't be as similar as for soundex so uh depending upon the use case uh you can switch between soundex and uh, metaphor at times it might be the case that you know uh, there would be a single person or just a few people with a similar first name and hence you can go for uh, soundex Uh, where you might not be that much of a problem if you even match in such cases but in case of huge directories this can be a problem where you might wish to use metaphone as we you wish to consider surnames as well now metaphone has also two upgraded versions that is double metaphone that produces two codes for each of the string one is major that that, that i showed in in this in this particular video and one is a minor code and metaphone 3 is a paid service that hasn't been uh, revealed yet now uh, the last uh, comparison between metaphone and soundex so if you provide uh, digits or special characters in uh, in the in the string so metaphone completely ignores them uh, and in case of soundex and if it's a if it's a if it's a first letter then it is considered else it is also rejected so you can see that in case of uh, all the stars it is taking uh, the first string uh, the first character is a star and the rest of them are zero there are no sounds coming in uh similarly in case of metaphone if all the m are stars it is completely ignoring the entire string in case of m999m it is ignoring the digits and just considering the sounds generated similar in case of soundex also metaphone is a rule based method so we won't be discussing the rules both soundex and metaphone are rule based methods and eventually it's a huge pile of rules that we won't wish to jump in 